But in Dav Chav Gimel Amud Bet, after seeing yesterday Masechet Berachot of the importance of cleaning the shul or keeping it clean, if by the Aaron we said yesterday by the Aaron that that was the reward that he got sixty-two grandchildren, eight of which were his, and then he got the others. How much more so by the Aaron and the Beit Knesset if a person keeps the Mogum clean? How much more so he's going to be blessed? with grandchildren and children, etc. Rabotai, today I want to show you something in Masech Shabbat, of Chav Gimel Amud Bet. How does one married to have Talmudei Chachamim? Right? Everybody wants to have a child that's going to become a Talmud Chacham. I tell you something, I'm not, uh, I'm not chas, so I'm pointing anybody out. I was one time in the Yishro, and whatever, they, there was a whole conversation with alcohol abuse and drug abuse, etc. Right? So somebody got up and they said, we'd rather have our children learn Torah than to be chas v'shalom outside in the streets. So you're comparing the streets to learn Torah. So when I got up, I spoke, I said, no, no, Rabotai, chas v'shalom. We do not compare the Torah to the streets. You could tell me you'd rather have your son to become a Tamil Chacham than rather become like the richest guy in the world. That you could tell me. What are you comparing Torah to a person who's outside in the streets? It's better that the boy should be in the synagogue than to chas v'shalom do the wrong things. Is that's how you compare the Torah, Rabotai? The Torah stands over here. What are you, what are you comparing? On the contrary, tell me. Instead of being like a person like today, and give me any non-Jew that you know that has all the billions of dollars, instead of being like him, I want my son to sit and learn Torah in the Beit Knesset. So I have my children to become Tamdei Chachamim, and that's what we. What do we say? Baruch Ata Hashem Elokeinu Melech Olam Shelo Osani Goy. Which Goy you think? What do you think? The guy that sits on the street? We speak about a guy, the greatest, the biggest billion that there is in the world. If I would have to switch my place with him, I don't want it. I'd rather sit here and learn Torah. That's what you're saying, basically. Rabbi I want to show you how does a person merit to have children, Talmud Chachamim, and how he, he, how he himself could also become a Talmud Chacham. Masech Shabbat Avchav Gimel Ahmed Ben says like this, I'm a Rav, Rav said, Derechem Rabbanan, how many of us have this today? One who loves the rabbis. When a person loves the rabbis, I mean, we have today. We think, unfortunately, many times I've seen it. We pay, they do. No, Rabotai, just the opposite, Rabotai. They do, that's why you pay. They don't need your money, Rabotai. Hashem provides. You think that you own the shul, you're the president, you're the vice president, you're the board members. You know how many times they said that, Yaakov? You know what they say? Yes, this pachu, yes, this pa you. Rabbi John, T. One who loves the rabbis, is going to have children that are going to become Tamdi Chachamim. When you love the rabbis, when you speak good about them, Ni ani afiriste ani drog goy ani zadeng rabo ani zadeng ni rabo to rabo. You speak good about them. Ni ani afiriste ani drog goy ani zadeng rabo ani zadeng ni rabo to rabo to. I understand there's such thing that's called the mitzvah, correct? But some of it's a diakov. Mitzvah yes, kadesh mitzvah yes. Shem mitzvah doesn't do. Pran the diakov. No, you also have to remember rabbis also have to live. What they have children? What they don't have children? Chasu shol. They have children, no. They have tuition. They have rent. They have mortgages to pay. Whatever it's going to be, they have no. So what do you think? They're going to come give three hours of their time where they could have made whatever they could and now they want. No problem, they could do mitzvot. But you have to have some common sense. In any event, Rabotai, Rabbi son, because if you love the rabbis, Bemet, if you love them, you should know you're going to have children who are going to become Tamdi Chachamim. Do you know me, Tamdi Chachamim? Masayi Barakot says, everybody's afraid of Gog Magog. Do you know what the real Gog Magog is going to be? Everybody's afraid. Again, I don't watch the news. I don't know, but from what I hear, Rabotai, Ukraine is still continue fighting with what's his name? What's the country? I don't know. What's the, who are they fighting with? Even? Moshe? Who? Russia. Uh, Russia. Right? They're fighting with Russia and they, it's a continuing war. That's what you're afraid of? That's not something to be afraid of, Rabotai. The Gemara Seba Asaykin Berachot, if you have a child that's in Tarbut Ra'ai, if a child goes off the dirt in your house, this is worse than Gogo Magog. Do you understand what I'm telling you? No. So you think you have a child that does everything and you think you're sleeping, you ain't sleeping good. You understand what I'm trying to tell you, David? This is not, it's not, a, it's not a joke, Rabotai. To have a Tamil Chacham gives you peace of mind. 
in this world, and you get a lot of difference in the next world. Attack, you only have debts. Buy this, do this, go this, take him out of jail. I don't want to say all the things that I what goes on to you with children. And we think we're doing something big. In any event, that's one, one of the things. You have to love rabbis and stop speaking bad about them. If it weren't be for rabbis, I don't know if your girls would get married to Jewish boys today. If it wouldn't be for rabbis, I do not know if people would not learn Aleph Bet today. Thank God to rabbis that sit in Yeshiva and learn Torah. You have little boys, they learn Aleph Bet, Mishnah Yod, Chumash, Gimoro. Or what do you think? You think it's easy to be with a child all day? Try it one time. You lose your mind. Try it one time. Another piece. After loving the rabbis, I don't know you. After loving the rabbis, now you have to also honor them. It's not enough to love them. You have to honor them. You honor rabbis, you're going to have sons who are going to be a The Gemara says, if a person, if a father gives his daughter to an Amoris, an ignoramus, who's not learned, it's like taking her and throwing her into a lion's cage, hungry. You eat her alive, Rabotai. What's the chutah is to have? A person should have a Son of the Talmud Chacham. In order to have the zuchut for that, you have to honor the rabbis, Rabotai. When I say honor, you know, unfortunately, the Dakot Chodel, Chodel, he's Kazakh, he's Kazu. No, it's very sad. You go to Shul, you have Talmud Chacham, and I tell when I say Talmud, you have Talmud Chacham. Even sometimes the rabbis they mess up in this. You have big, big Talmud Chacham walk in, and then you have the guy who sponsors, or he gives five thousand dollars, whatever he gives. The five thousand dollar guy, he sits all the way in the front. The Tamil Chacham, he could sit all the way in the back, in the bathroom, somewhere, in the kitchen somewhere. What's this? There's no honor, there's no... No! The one who pays, that's what we're going to sit up front. But remember, Rabotai, in the next world, it's just the opposite. All the people who are above of you in this world, in the next world, they're on the bottom. All the people on the bottom, in the next world, they're on top. That's how it works. Don't be, don't be uh, tricked by the system. Oh, Kadzila, Zachadi, Zachadi. I want to see them not give one time check. I want to tell you time you say Zachadi, Zachadi. They're never going to come up to you again. Somebody told me, Dadako, you laugh. Dadako, the man. You want to hear something funny? Somebody told me, do you know how many people, you know how many rabbis came to my wedding? Well, that religious wedding. How many? Fool! Yeah? How many of them did you write out checks to? I want to see you not write a check to a rabbi. I want to see them show up. They ain't going to come, Rabotai. Yeah, they have so hard courage at all. They come out of respect. But Rabotai, I know money plays a very big role in this world. But still, we have to do what's right. One more piece, Rabotai. He says over here, <clears throat> One who's afraid of the rabbis. You listen to the rabbis when they say something. Not in the middle of the shoot, the rabbis speaking on, on Shabbat and uh, on Shabbat between Minchat and Arvi. The guy, Amar, has never learned a word in his life. He heard one lecture from another rabbi from another country of the world. <clears throat> the rabbi says, X, Y, and Z. Or Rabbi John taught Rabbi Texas. Why you open the book in your life? You know what Shulchan Aruch is? No. You know Magin Abraham? Taz? No. You learn Gemara? No. Why you open your mouth? Kagani Gorat. Kagani Zvon. Kagani Gorat. Zvon Slushel and his dad's own. Kagani Gorat. Nabucharski. Kagani Slushel Zvon is not the own. Eto mi šo rabaj me zjesi ni so žiš dajot. A eto ani vrši, a ti slušaj, ki so slušaj na dva minuta, kada oni bolo vreme, pa kada oni da tovalete ni došli. Ani dumo še, ani to rabče uznajot. Te tako mi rabani, if a person is afraid of the rabbis, hu kufi havi tubi mi rabani. He himself is going to become a tamu chakam. When you respect, when you fear the rabbis, you yourself become a tamu chakam. But he says, vi ila bar haki hu. What happens if you, Rashi says, what happens if you don't learn Torah? So how do you expect me to become a Talmud Chacham, even though I fear them? No problem. People are going to listen to your words like they listen to Talmud Chacham. So sometimes when you have your wife doesn't listen to you, you know why. Your wife doesn't listen to you, or your family members or somebody, you know why? Just like you don't listen to the rabbis, you have no fear of them. So to nobody respects you, nobody has fear of you. But if you do that for them, in return, Hashem is also going to make people listen to you.